Welcome to setting up Outlook 2010 for Zoho Mail. You're going to need Microsoft Outlook 2010, a working Zoho Mail account, your Zoho Mail username and password, and access to the internet. So, first thing, let's open up our browser and go to Zoho Mail. You can do this either by typing the address in the address bar or searching in Google. And we need to log in using our Zoho username and Zoho password. Once we're loaded, we need to click on settings at the top, and then go to personalize, down to email forwarding and pop slash IMAP. And if we scroll to the bottom of the page under IMAP access, we need to tick enable and then click save. Once it says our changes have been saved, we can sign out and close our browser. Next, let's start up Microsoft Outlook 2010. Once Outlook's opened, click on the File tab and then Add Account. And we want to manually configure server settings or additional server types and then click Next. We want to connect to internet email, so just click Next. Now under your name, you need to type in your name as you would like it to appear on your email. Your email address is your email at zoho.com. Under account type, go to the drop down box and look for IMAP and pick IMAP. The incoming mail server is imap.zoho.com and the outgoing mail server is smtp zoho.com your username is just your username without at zoho.com at the end and your password is your normal zoho password now click on more settings and under the outgoing server tab we want to tick my outgoing server requires authentication once we've ticked that go to the advanced tab and click and then we need to change, use the following type of encrypted connection to SSL for both the incoming and outgoing server. And then in the outgoing server port field, we need to change that to 465 and then click OK. Click Next and it'll go off and it will do a test to make sure that it can connect to the incoming and outgoing mail server and we should get two ticks. Once we have our two ticks, if we click on close and then finish, and down the bottom left we'll see our new email with its inbox, and in a few seconds we should see the welcome message pop up. And that's it, all finished.